we are live hello smart money community hope you guys are doing well today uh it is december whoo december the year's almost done jen right like two weeks wow. left i feel like we just started two weeks ago yeah <laughs> today what we are talking about is we're talking about 15 ways to have uh an amazing christmas time christmas experience without uh breaking the bank yes right Love i mean Jen, right the truth is the truth is uh christmas is one of those seasons for a lot of people where we feel where, where it's an obligation mm. it's an obligation you know to buy gifts to, it's an obligation to show up and outperform it's an obligation when we go into debt to for a holiday yeah we go into debt and it's like, you know, and the truth is, I don't have the stats in front of me. I'm just about to look them up. But the majority, last time we looked at this was about a year ago, statistic wise, the majority of Americans, the majority of Canadians will go into debt for Christmas. Yeah. And last time we looked at this, I'm going to try and find current stats for this year. But last year when we looked at this, and I'm sure nothing's changed. It, it, it took the average person six months to pay off Christmas. Yeah. I don't think anything's changed on that. So I don't think I got to really go look that up. But that's but that was the data last year. That's the data of the year before. The data of the year before. The, you know, it was like it's a repeating thing here. And so the data is probably similar to this year, where most people are going to go into debt. So what that means is they're going to have what I call the holiday hangover. Oh yeah. Okay. The January bills are going to roll in, and and it's just you know it's going to be brutal. But then what's going to happen is it's going to take six months to pay it off, only to start and do the same thing again next year. Yeah. Right, and, and repeat it next year, and repeat it last year. And this is how we stay in the cycle of broke, is we don't change anything. Yeah. And until you change something, you're gonna be in that cycle of paycheck to paycheck, that cycle of broke, that cycle of overwhelm, stress, anxiety, all that stuff here. And um, so what we wanna to do today is we wanna talk about 15 ways to have fun this Christmas season, uh, whether it's in a group, whether it's in a family, whether it's just with friends. 15 ways that you can have fun um, and and have a you know make this the best Christmas you've ever had without breaking the bank. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, let's dive in because these are some really great ideas. And let's face it, most of these cost like 20 bucks or less. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, 20 bucks or less. So let's dive in, Jen. What do you got here? A little one well, I'll let you take the first couple here. All right. Okay. And I, actually, this first one we do. I love this first one we're about to talk about. Yeah. This is this is called setting it up. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this first one. Uh, when we lived in you know in in Durham where you are, uh, we we would do this Friday nights. We would go because there was certain neighborhoods that yep. would oh just go all out, and so we take the kids in the car and we go and do this. So why don't we share what number one is? I love this. We're doing this here as well. But what do you got? I love it. Yeah. Number one, driving around town looking at christmas lights yes completely free completely free you know what we do is is still the way we do it is 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 right about mid-november to right just before christmas every friday we got something we're doing with the kids christmas yeah. lights this this that 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 because it's just fun it's part of the holidays it's part of the just just that christmas spirit and so we pack them in the van we go to tim hortons uh or you know whatever coffee shop you guys have there crispy cream you know whatever um and you know adults get some coffee the kids get some timbits or some donuts and then we go we find these neighborhoods that are just doing great you know big displays of stuff and we go and the kids love it we sometimes we drive sometimes we walk depending on yeah. how cold it is um but last year there was an a, a neighborhood in ajax jen i don't know if you saw this every house had like a 20-foot santa it was, oh all over, it was all over the news and so we decided to go see it uh, it was like every house on the street had a 20-foot santa and big celebration anyways uh but yeah that was that's that's a big one yeah driving around and seeing how people have decked out their houses yeah so fun so fun and you're right there's lots of them out there ask your friends ask your family around where you live what's available heck sometimes even the local paper will print what street they have seen yep. epic lights on yep. so that is out there definitely grab some hot chocolate either brew it yourself or go grab it and great great cheap night fun night and can i just say how much i love your friday night family night idea that is like 
bang on. It gives all of us a time to connect with our family and our household um, and have like just some downtime or just some fun, right? And takes the stress yeah. out of, you know, having to fill up our calendars. So perfect. Yeah. Yeah, if you got kids, the kids are gonna love it. If you're dating, maybe you're single and you're dating, or you're, you know, seeing you got a group of friends. Great way to have good conversations, you know. And, and it's not just the act of watching lights; yeah. it's the act of being in community. Uh, for yeah. the last two years, with everything going on, depending on where you live, you may have been isolated. You may yeah. have had the last Christmas or two Christmases, uh, maybe no family, um, you know, and so. This year with things opened it opened up again whether you're vaxxed or not you don't have to be to show up to this one you can just go hang out exactly um, and it's a great way to reconnect with friends and reconnect with family yeah for sure for sure another great thing to do let's go on to number two number two and a couple of these other ones kind of mesh together well so find a hill and oh. go tobogganing if you've got snow in your yes. area go do. enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We, my, 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 <laughs> sorry. Now we, um, yeah, we got a bit of snow here. It's really nice. Uh, last Friday, uh, our, our three girls were invited to a birthday party uh, from a friend's house, and that's exactly what they did. There was pizza, cake, and tobogganing. Nice. And it was awesome. They loved it. They talked about it for like days. Yeah. Um, and as an adult, you can do this too. We got a hill right by our house here that we take our kids to. And I love the idea. Bring some hot chocolate. Yeah, you know, get, the thermos. <laughs> get the thermos or even, hey, if you want to spend 10 bucks, go to the store and buy the, 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 the what are, I don't know, the, the jug, you know, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I forget what the, what the jug is where you can pour, you know, 10 cups of coffee or 10 cups of hot chocolate into get that pack there, bite some friends and have some fun. Yes. Right? So much fun rolling down the hill in the snow, take the kids, take the dog, take your friends, like oh, awesome, gosh. awesome fun. And, I'm going to, here's a, here's a pro tip right here. Okay, guys. If you've got kids that have like that need for speed, what you do is you buy them. Um, we did this. So we got, um, boogie boards. Oh yeah. The ones for the water, the ones for the water, because the way it works, like, like you gotta you have this certain, um, uh, it's not a chemical, but certain plastic, you know, to really get on water and do a well. But yeah. on hills with snow, they dart <laughs> down fast. So if you got a kid that has a need for speed, go find a boogie board somewhere. And it's faster than sleds, faster than toboggans. And you just, boom, you just go. Yeah. Um, so our, we got a couple of boogie boards for our kids and they love it. We just all go on it and uh, have a lot of fun. <laughs> They're perfect. Cause it's like the, it's like the speed of a crazy carpet but you save yeah. your knees <laughs> you save your knees and, and your arse <laughs> right? <laughs> um, yeah exactly exactly yeah so that's a great one i love tobogganing i always loved it you know uh to to ta or to tack on to that you know building a snowman would be another yeah one. right 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 beside that hot chocolate oh, yeah. fun um you know absolutely snowman yeah. build a snow fort yeah. even have a snowball fight like yeah. Fun times. Eye protection, yeah. highly recommend it, but <laughs> yes. have fun, right? Like have fun in the snow. It's just, why not? Right? Yeah. Fun, why fun not? Snow, fun in the outdoors. And if you don't have snow, maybe you live down south. I'm jealous if you do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not that jealous, but hey, it's great to have warm weather at Christmas too. Um, yeah. Maybe you're by a lake. Yeah. If you're in really warm weather, go on a lake. But if you're not, a hike. Yeah, absolutely. A nature hike. You can still go to the beach, right? Yeah. Even if it's like five degrees out, you can still head to the beach. Definitely go for a hike, you know, take the dog, meet people, like meet up and pack, pack like a picnic or like growing all the yeah. bars and trail mix. Just something that's different. There's, from there's the always school. something. Yeah. 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 Just to yeah when, I, I li when I lived in Ontario, I walked that lake every morning. Mm. Walk down there and just walk by the lake, whether it was warm or cold, just do the walk. It was just, it, just, it was great. It was a good time. It yeah. allowed um, reflection. I did it by myself, but you can do it with friends. Just good times there. Let's yeah. go to number three here, because this is awesome. I love this one here. This is something you're a pro at, Jen. You seem to be the master at this <laughs> one. So what's number three? Games this is fun. Night. This is fun. Yeah. Games yeah. night. Come on. Love it. We actually had our Games Club Christmas party just a couple, uh, a week ago. Did you and... say Games Club? Yeah. You're in like a Games Club? legit cool yes okay. it is so much fun guys like 
we just play board games and we just laugh and laugh and laugh. We were laughing so hard that our cheeks hurt. It was so much fun. I love it. Yeah, so games night in. Family, friends, just your household, whatever. I mean, you could even step it up. We actually have a games competition within our house. So there's five of us, right? I love it. And the first person to win 20 family games actually wins their own board game. Cool. Yes. How often do you meet, though? So, well, so the one with is just with our, like my husband and then the kids, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, so now that wins 20 winter, times. Yeah, yeah. Now that it's winter, it, it'll happen faster, right? But this okay. is for, we, we do it. Like last year was our first year. So much fun. A little jealous that Josh won, but he was the games master of 2020. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I posted it a couple of weeks ago in the community. Actually, we did a game Friday game night with the, just the kids Yeah, and they all want to play Monopoly. I don't know why, because I, you know, we someone always gets destroyed in that game. <laughs> right like, yeah it's not just you lose it's a brutal loss oh that yeah happens in that game but they always want to play it and uh, so we post a couple nights we were doing that that was fun that, that lasted two days yeah friday night saturday morning and then last year we did that we had the whole family over for christmas and that was like a three-night event yeah uh playing monopoly so. it's so fun so fun yeah. and the more interactive games you can get and the more people Awesome. Like some of our favorites this year, uh, this, that, and everything. That yeah. one's great for a crowd. Telestration. Yeah. That one's super fun. Uh, gestures. Even Camel Up. I think you can have nine players for that one. We're actually going to play that tonight with nice. costumes. The kids want to play it with costumes. So. Wow. All in, baby. That, that's right? all in. Yeah. And it I costs it. nothing. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Um, so that's another great one. It was a game. I pull out a simple game and let's go rock. Make it competitive if you're competitive. If you're not, everybody wins. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, just have fun. Cool. Have fun. You know, just have fun doing it. That's a great way to, you know, to go have some fun, friends, family, Christmas. Uh, and you don't have to break the bank. You're not spending, yeah. a, you know, $100 for a family event, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's a great one there. Here's one that I really love is, hey, bake some goodies, baby. Bake some. We did this yesterday, actually. Christmas nice goodies. So what we did is I, I watched the Kelly Clarkson, Kelly Clarkson uh, TV, TV show. Yeah, yeah. And on the, they had uh, a chef, a popular chef. I forget his name. Guff, I think is his name or something. Okay. Um, anyways, whatever. That's not important. They made these, these Christmas cakes. Ooh. And I was like, damn, that looks really good. <laughs> and so I want to imitate it. Um, yeah. I'm going to see if I can share a photo with you guys, you know, the whole nail did a thing. So I, I figured out what they did. Uh, and we did this yesterday. I got all the kids after church yesterday. We came in, we came home, we, we baked a cake. We, we got our Christmas cutouts. So we did all our Christmas cutouts and we did the cake the way we wanted to do it. Uh, melted. Um, oh, what was the chocolate we melted? Lindor. Oh, you know, you know, you know, oh. those, you know what I'm talking about? The, oh, I know. The red packet ones. Yeah. Yeah. Melted that and put it all over the cake. Oh my Oh, that sounds decadent and delicious. It was amazing. I'm just going <laughs> to quickly find a photo here. Um, oh, we got a photo. So this is what this is what it looked like on the show. Hold on, let me see if I can adjust my camera here. There we go. Look oh at yeah, that. yeah. You see Those that? are so cute. Right. Yeah. Okay, hold on. My camera's a little bit blurry here. Just give me a sec. This is what it looked like after we made it. You see that? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> nailed it. That's hilarious. That's how we made it. But you know what? <laughs> you know what? The taste was amazing. It tasted, you know, as I told everyone, yeah. listen, the looks, the looks don't have to be there as long as the taste is there, and it tasted uh, amazing. Nice. I love it. Yeah. So for you guys, you know, whether it's you know, my wife got invited the other day to bake cookies. Uh, it was a get together with a bunch of ladies, and you know, bake twenty cookies or whatever. Everyone brings their cookies, and you trade and have some some tea some coffee hang out you know tell jokes talk about how fabulous your husband is you know that stuff <laughs> um, but it's like yeah that's another way you know what does it cost to go get cookie mix what does it cost to go get some flour some butter and make your own cookies what does it cost to get creative here 10 yeah. 15 bucks maybe you oh, know yeah. that whole cake so for us that whole cake and i fed the whole family and then some we had a bunch of leftovers i think it was like uh 12 bucks 
yeah. to do the whole thing. Um, you know, and so that's another great way to have some fun, you know, put on some Christmas music in the background or a movie uh, in the background here, have some fun talk and, 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 you know, celebrate. Yeah, absolutely. And guys, you don't have to just stop at like small cookies or small cakes. You guys can do the gingerbread house thing too. Oh, we did. We're going to talk about, we did that as well, but I'll tell my story in a little bit here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Which is great. Gingerbread's fun. It's so fun. Yeah. So fun. Yeah. And you can do it on the cheek too, right? Yeah, you can. I found yeah. gingerbread houses yesterday for five bucks. Nice. Right? Yeah, five bucks a kid. The month is half over. <laughs> so. Yeah. Five bucks They're a kid like, versus 12 uh, bucks. Yeah. A month ago. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Awesome. Okay. What so this next here? one. Yeah. Let's talk about we, this next one. This was a really nice one that Matt and I did um, a couple of years ago, and we made it a date night in. Okay. And, so this is yeah. for couples. Is this for couples? It Would could be. I mean, more it couples? Could be, yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay. Too many hands or friends the- or close friends, you know, yeah. you got that group of two, three friends that you connect with that you really like. This is a smaller group activity. What is it? What do we it got? is. Yeah. It's a nice one just to, to put on the Christmas tunes, nicely playing in the background, grab some snacks or make a small charcuterie board or something and pull out a puzzle. Oh, right. Yeah. Like when's the last time you sat down and did like a puzzle, like that you had to yeah. touch with your hands that wasn't at the cottage. on the screen, at right? The cottage, yeah, yeah, yeah. So fun. So we had made it a date night in, but you could totally do it with another couple and just make it something you know quiet and fun. You can still chat and snack and have a good time. And again, it doesn't cost a lot. If you don't have a puzzle, borrow one. Yeah. lots of people have them. Right. Yeah. Go on Facebook Marketplace. You'll find a ton. Absolutely. Value Village as well. Like any of the used clothing stores, like two bucks for a puzzle. And in the end, hopefully it has the pieces. But if not, well, you know what the cover looks like. <laughs> Still fun. <laughs> Still fun. Take a picture of the cover. <laughs> right. Exactly. We built yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah, just a, a really nice like, change of pace thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and adding on to that is, is, you know, uh, you got the puzzle thing, maybe a hot chocolate or tea or coffee, whatever your flavor is. Yeah. Um, I would say one thing you could add, add on to that, uh, is, you know, create a, cre- you're right here, create a, create a cozy ambience in a room of comfy for reading. Yeah. Um, and I would add to that, you know, maybe you, maybe you do takeout. Mm. Maybe you're so, Hey, we're, we're not, we're not all about cutting that budget so tight. So you can't have fun. Yeah. But maybe you order takeout. Take $20. Yeah. Again, this is about not breaking the bank. Take $20, order takeout for you and a friend or you and your spouse here. Do the yeah. puzzle. Uh, you know, maybe, you know, create that nice ambient room here. Do some reading while you're having your favorite food. Yes. Lots yeah. of fun, you know, lots of opportunity right there as well. Right. And I, what I like about that idea too, Mike, is that it's an opportunity to like kind of reset and recharge. Yes. Right. Especially if you're doing something more active the next day or later in the day. Yeah. It's great to be able to just take a minute and sit back and be quiet um, during a season that, you know, it can be as crazy or as quiet as we like it to be. We, we actually have control over that. You have control over that. 100%. Extreme ownership is how you win here is whatever the situation is. uh, You can always control your actions, your reactions and how you respond. And Christmas is a great one to say, I have control. Do I want to be loud and exciting? That's my vibe. I love loud. I love a lot of people. I love conversations. But then some people might be like, no, I like quiet. I like, you know, small, you know, group. I connect well when there's two people in the room, not 10 people or 20 people in the room. I just like going, I, I bounce all around we just did that the other day but you know whatever your vibe is there's there's something on here for you yeah um and i love this next one that we're going to talk about here because i did this with our kids last we haven't done this this year with our kids yeah um just because of different situations and stuff and you know we're going out and all that but last year we did this when we were kind of more in that lockdown state of uh, we did a smoothie and a movie oh i love it <laughs> so you know whatever our best smoothie was you know we for example i have my you know we picked something so we, you know my kids love oreo cookies and so we did like an oreo smoothie oh fun yeah or uh, you know kit kat smoothie or whatever here and then we watched a, an awesome christmas movie a lot of times it was you know uh one that we saw before like home alone um on netflix right now they got the christmas chronicle chronicles i think it's what it's called christmas oh that's chronicles. a great one 
That's actually really good. I, we, and we got both. We, you know, season, uh, I guess one the and first two. And se- yeah. yeah. First and second. So we watched them both. We'll, we'll marathon it sometimes. Nice. Um, or the Santa Claus. I love the Santa Claus. Oh man. With Tim Remember Allen. Tim Allen. Classic. Yeah. And love so it. we would, mar- we, you know, we start a Saturday afternoon, you know, we have dinner made and we'll go into Saturday evening. We'll marathon that. Um, and the kids love it. Yes. The kids love it. We'll do smoothies. Uh, you know, if it's one movie, if it's a couple movies, we'll do smoothie dinner and you know make it a thing. But grab some snacks. Maybe smoothies not your thing. Go grab some popcorn. You know, again, what's a bag of popcorn? Two bucks. Yeah. Depending on where you buy, it, you know, go put some snacks, some chat. Some, some... This is a small get together now. Yeah. Right. And I guess, you know, for me, Christmas, I, I love presents, you know, I, I love giving presents and receiving, you know, presents. It's fun. But Christmas is all about um, connecting for me. Yes. The presents are a means to an end. And the end yeah. is to connect uh, yes. and have fun. You know, the parties and, and, and the bargaining is a means. I love doing that, but it's a means to an end. And for me, it's about connecting and having those meetings relationships and again you don't have to go to a pub and spend you know i mean jen you know again depending on where you live this is gonna be different but the food the cost of food in ontario and canada and a lot of the u.s i see people talk all the time about things just going up yeah like groceries are like it's insane what some people spend on groceries these days yeah and you gotta think about this if you go to a bar like a lot of times they ain't getting much bigger discounts on the food and so you know you go have a pie you know i'll just see like spaghetti and meatballs you go to a, a pub for that or a restaurant for that well listen they gotta make money so they're paying what you're paying maybe a little bit less but then they gotta have profit yeah and so you're paying 20 bucks a lot of times for spaghetti and meatballs yeah do you like no, i could have made it for four <laughs> could have made it for four you know then you got your kids if you got you like us you got three kids two adults yeah. you know like it becomes it can become expensive and there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, if that's your jam, you plan for it. You, you know, that's what we do. We plan for it, we go and we have fun. Yeah. But for so many people, there's that obligation to do it, mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. the desire. And I plan for it and we're going to have fun spending a hundred bucks and blowing a hundred bucks out of the restaurant. Yeah. And so exactly. these are great ways to create obligations that don't break the bank here, but you still can have that connect. You still get to that purpose yes. of connecting. Hey, and maybe maybe you want to do a couple spritzers or something. Go, you know, twenty dollar bottle of wine, ten dollar bottle of wine, and now we're you know now we're having fun. Yeah. Um, so I love that one as well. Uh, smoothie and a movie. That's good. I love it. It's easy to remember. It rhymes. Smoothie <laughs> and a movie. <laughs> ah. All right. Um, oh, have you done this one, Jen? That we're about to talk talk next. Have you ever done this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So why don't you share your experience? I'll I'll share mine in a sec, but here's the next one guys. Okay. So the next one, this is like the classic Canadian Christmas card here, skating on a pond. Or if you're in the Northern States of us. Yes, that's true. Yes. Um, yeah. Skating on a pond. Yeah. Grabbing your ice skates, you know, taking a little trek across the field or wherever you're finding your pond and going and skating on a pond. It is, it is such a different feeling being like surrounded by nature. I mean, oh, sure, yeah. you can go to the public skate in the arena too. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. But the, the, pond- has, the public skate in the arena, there's a smell there. I don't know if everyone knows that. There's a smell. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's a good smell. But every time I walk into an arena, you smell that. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of the hockey days, you know, playing in yeah. arenas and all that. There's that ice rink of smell, which is great. I love it. But yeah. Anyways. Yeah, I know. Well, the benefits of an ice rink is that you're not sitting in the snow to put your skates on and they have a real bathroom. And you're <laughs> not, not going to fall through. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you don't have to worry about falling through. So yeah. check your ice check before your you ice. go out. Like if you're in my area right now, you're not skating on any pond. Wait, wait till January, February. <laughs> but if you're in my area, you are. There you that's, go. that's the great thing about this is depending on where you live. So uh, we got a canal right out. I'm pointing at the back of our house here. There's, there's a canal. Yeah. A bunch of houses are on the canal and um, uh, it's about eight, eight inches thick right now. Oh, nice. Liter- and what happens if you walk out here, uh, my neighbors created a little ice rink for us and, and a couple of our houses here, but Fine. there's literally probably about 20 ice rinks. If you walk the canal, every house has their own little spot and they all yeah. connect. We all built little, little, little pathways. Pathways to connect. To connect. Rings. Yeah. Oh, so fun. All around the neighborhood. And a skating trail. A skating 
intro. Yeah. And so this is cool for us here. This is the first time we've seen this and experienced this. But yeah. you know, last time we, went, we went for that walk and there's a bunch of people it was like eight o'clock at night. It was dark, but a bunch of people playing hockey. People got lights on their pri- on their property that face the canals. So you can yes. light up the canals. It's awesome. It's it's a really cool experience. So if you've got that yeah. availability, if you're in that you know, my neck of the woods, um, that's huge. Yeah. That's huge, it is. and that's a great it's way awesome. to have some fun. The kids love it. We get onto the canal because in the summertime you got to canoe the canal, right? You can't get or you can't really get on it. You got to canoe it or sup it or yeah. something. But right now, because it's frozen, we get to walk on the canals and walk up the houses, and all the houses have their lights all lit up. You know, you want to talk about nice. the experience of of driving and looking at lights? Yeah, just walk back here and you see all the different lights that people have done on the back on their backyards. It's really beautiful. Cool. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah. And you know what? If you have warmer weather like we have now, or you live down south further, why not put on the rollerblades? Strap on the there rollerblades go. or Boom. go for a bike ride and go look at lights and enjoy yeah. all the things, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's something to do for everybody here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and another one for those, you know, for, again, for those who are a little more, more winter, uh, winter esque, you know, weather, um, here's another one you could uh, snowboard. Or not, yeah, you can snowboard, yeah. you can ski, ski, you can snowshoe, snowshoe. all that. And yeah. the cool thing is you don't, buy, you don't have to buy the gear, you just rent it. Right, you can rent it, you can ask your friends if they have it and borrow it. Chances are they're not using it the day you want to. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, no, those are yeah. those are great, great, uh, great activities to be, you know, getting you outside again, fresh air, exercise, talking, spending time with other people or having a quiet time by yourself if you need that too, right? So great yeah. opportunities with, with a lot of those things. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. I've never done this one. I've had this one. I've experienced it. I've had it done to me um, as my girls are sneaking up on me right now. They're, they're about to do something. They're going to <laughs> oh, beautiful. Come here. Come here. My girls are hanging out. So might as well show them nice. off right now. Come yes. Here. This one just cut her hair. Say hi to everybody. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Oh, nice haircut. Beautiful, Lenny. You want to say hi? <laughs> right now. There's thousands of people watching you. <laughs> All right. The nervous laugh. <laughs> yeah, she's like, uh, are you lying? <laughs> she doesn't know how to read the screen and see that we're live yet. <laughs> That's funny. That's um, funny. But yeah, back to this one. I've never had experienced this. I've experienced this one, but I've never done this one. But hey, this seems like a fun thing for, for a lot of people. What is this one, Jen? Yeah. This is a fun one that kind of connects to like the heart of like Christmas for pioneers, I think. Okay. Um, an old fashioned carol thing. Woo. Yes. You have to be good. I don't think so. It's about enjoying it. And heck, when you sing in a choir, the people who are good definitely overpower the people who aren't. Yeah. Most of the time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's really fun. It's fun. You can do it in your house. Um, if, if you're musically inclined, somebody can be playing an instrument. Um, if nobody is musically inclined or plays an instrument, you can get all sorts of tracks where it's just the music and you can sing along to it. And hey, if you're like really keen, you could head outdoors and like knock on your neighbor's doors and sing Christmas carols for them. I bet they yeah. would be like, whoa. Blown away. We've, yeah. we've been transported back to 1943. <laughs> I was thinking 1897. <laughs> yeah. well, that's a yeah. great one there. I know I've known a few people that have done it uh, that were musically inclined, acoustic guitars, banjo, you know, yeah. the snare stuff that have done it and have done a really good job at it. Um, nice. Yeah, 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 which has been great. I've actually pulled um, out my trumpet and been practicing because I'm going to do one this year. Are you really? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Very Don't cool. tell my family. They're going to be surprised. <laughs> yeah. No, I love that. I love that. Um, yeah. That's a great one there. If you're kind of got that outgoing um, personality, that's, that's one for you. <laughs> yes. Let's do there. Um, here's the next one. And we just did this on Saturday. Uh, gingerbread house competition. So we went out, like you said, we found, you know, we bought 10 gingerbread houses. Yeah. So, you know, we, we bought them about, I think, six or seven or eight bucks. So we spent about $80. Um, now you can get them for like five bucks or something. But anyways, 
spend about 80 bucks. We had um, like 10 families come over. Yeah. And we you know we put out some food and stuff like that, put the Christmas carols on, uh, put on the fireplace, and we did, uh, we had everyone build a house. Nice. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. So less than 100 bucks, you know, we got community, we had a lot of friends, you know, everyone bought, brought a little something, everyone brought, you know, a, a side. Yeah. And we just, we hung out, we played music, we had a fun conversation, we all built houses you know, the best family one type of thing. Yeah. Um, it was bragging rights. That's all they got was bragging rights. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, if you want to step it up, maybe, maybe you have budgeted in your cash flow plan. Maybe you do have a gift card. Maybe we do make it a competition where it's like, yeah. um, you know, maybe you got a $25 gift card. Yeah. For something, you know, put in your budget and, and that's the way, to, that's the way to have a lot of fun. Yeah. hundred percent. No, that's a great idea. I love it. All right, and take us away with this last one. What's this one? It's oh, also fun. I love this one. We so back before we moved, we had a group of friends. We did this with every year. Actually, we did this twice a year. We did this at December, and we did this in July. Um, and it's secret. It's a secret Santa party. Nice. And, or well, we called it an ugly Christmas sweater party, but same idea. What we did is we all wore our ugliest Christmas sweaters, which you know there's a lot of ugly ones out there i found mine at value village for five bucks and i've worn it every year and we go there we have fun again everyone brings some food uh we put on some music and then we do a an exchange uh a secret santa where you know everyone brings a 20 dollar gift right yeah. so super cheap 20 dollar gift here and you pull numbers out and based on what number you are you pick your gift and then you can steal it and you know all that stuff here and that, that gets pretty fun yeah yeah, I love it's it. A great way to have fun with friends and family. And again, it's not much, you know, you know, no. uh, commit to a $20 gift, commit to a $20 app, 40 yeah. bucks. And you've got a night of some pretty good fun. Yeah. And it goes for hours and hours and hours. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. So there you have it guys. Tons of great ideas. These were our top 15. Yeah. What other ideas do you have? You guys comment below. Comment. Comment yeah. below with what you guys are doing this year, what you're having fun with. And I'll, I'm going to end with this. And, and, you know, this is a light one that we're having fun on this one. We're sharing with you guys some, some simple tips and tricks here. But I do want to talk about this quickly here. And it's and Jen, you said this to me earlier just before we got on. So I'm going to say the quote. You can't yeah. have the things that people who work harder than you have. Yeah. And I just want to say this. We get people all the time that are celebrated in here. Akila just celebrated the other day. We've had Nav celebrate. We've had, you know, a lot of people celebrate. Ted and Angie celebrated. And these guys are getting some really big results. And I see people ask all the time, how are you doing it? Well, part of the way they're doing it is they're not busting that budget anymore. So when it comes to Christmas, and we've had these conversations with all our clients when it comes to Christmas, what are we doing different this year so we're not going into debt? Yes. Because like I talked about in the beginning here, most Americans, most Canadians, the majority will go into debt for Christmas. And then the majority will take about six months to pay it off and then continue the cycle again next year. And it's like, if you want the success that other people have, if you want to be debt free, if you want to have money in the bank, um, you know, you want to not, not, you won't want to be, sorry, you want to stress less. I was mumbling there. You want to stress less or whatever your situation is, you've got to do something different this year. Yeah. And so I really want to encourage you to take, you know, maybe one or two of these ideas work for you. We, we talked about 15. What are two or three are going to work for you? Oh, and yeah. maybe this is the year you decide to change here. And this is the year you say, we're doing it differently here, kids. And you take one of these ideas and implement it. Right? And, and, yeah. and so I want to challenge you guys with that because we're, we're, about, we're just around the corner from 2022. And it's like, what are you going to do different this year in 2022 that you didn't do last year? Yeah. What's going to be the differences? And if you want the success that other people have, if you want that, you've got to do what they've done to get there. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And it's all about looking at this differently. So this is why we came in. This is why I want to share this with you guys. Because this is a simple, uh, 15 simple ways that won't break your bank, um, that won't break the budget that anyone can do uh, to have fun this Christmas season. Yeah. Yeah, because it, like you said, Mike, it's about creating the memories and the time that we spend with people. Um, the gifts are just, you know, part of a way to achieve that. But in the end, it's people that matter. It's those relationships. 100%. And, those yeah, and the I memory. Don't, I don't remember a lot of the gifts I get. But yeah. I remember the experiences I have. Yeah, absolutely. 
Absolutely. So create, you know, I'll challenge you this year, create experiences, create memories. Yeah. Don't go into debt to make it happen. No. Yeah. It's not worth it. Um, it's not worth it. Yeah. So we love you guys. Take this stuff. Uh, you know, comment below with if you got more ideas, comment below. Yeah. Uh, if you use one or two ideas, tell us, comment in the community, tell us what you did. Was it fun? What was your experience? Would you do it again? You know, comment and you know, and share your experience with everyone so we can kind of see what, what's working, what, what people love, what's popular. Uh, and other people can take uh, take a hint from that as well and, and start doing doing that as well. Yes, I love it. That's great. Uh, all right, so it. Uh, come talk to you soon. We'll see you next whistle around the corner in two weeks from now. Jen, it's going to be gone. I know that's crazy. Another Christmas gone. Um, so, anyways, I'm looking forward to it. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye for now.